Myron Roderick, my college coach, is that going back to what Bear Bryant said, what we what we said, I'm not very smart, but I can take what other people do and make it work for me. Myron Roderick said, and I remember this, he said as a coach, you have to have a philosophy about wrestling. Everybody knows a lot about wrestling, but they don't know how to put the pieces together. All right. I took that exact philosophy, what Myron said, all right, and just made it into one for life. It's got to be the same thing. See, Oklahoma State had a philosophy. Okay, you know what it was? Yeah. If you can take anybody down and you can get away from anybody, you can beat anybody in the country. You don't need to turn them, you don't need to reverse them, and you don't need to pin them. All you need to do is take them down and get away from them. And that was the philosophy at Oklahoma State. Okay? I was there for five years. Never worked on reversals. Never worked on pinning. Okay? Never worked on those things. All right? No reversals, no pinning, just escapes and takedowns. Okay? And if you look at the philosophy, he never moved outside of that area. And that's what they did, and they did it very well. Okay? And so it taught me that if you stay within these confines of your philosophy, then you can do amazing things. You don't need, okay, the five areas of wrestling. You don't need to ride, you don't need to reverse, and you don't need to pin. All you need to do, okay, so hypothetically, you got five areas of wrestling, you got 100 minutes every day, how much time do you spend on each area? Hypothetically, 20 minutes a day, okay? So you're 20% proficient at each one. Oklahoma State, we're going to spend 60% of our time, okay, on our feet. And we're going to spend 40% getting away. So we're going to be three times better than anybody on their feet, twice as better than anybody getting away. We don't need the rest. Okay? So you stay... Okay, in this case, you keep your blinders on in a positive way. Okay? But the philosophy bears fruit by staying within the lane. So many times, so many people try to do so much okay, that they never get there. Okay? Okay. The old saying of master... A master of none, it's the same thing. Okay. And that's the whole point what you're trying to do is what is the most efficient way that you can get from here to here? That's what you're trying to do, I think. Okay. How can I get from here to here? I don't need to do reversals, writing. I don't need to do this. Okay. Okay. And when you try to do too many you're a master of none. Okay. So what you do is you refine it. You get it down. And then as my dad said, you use that focus. And then what my dad said is, you can outwork 90% of all Americans. You can be in the top 10% of everything you do the rest of your life if you're willing to work. So everything I've done, whether it's been a soldier, or been a wrestler, or been a coach, okay, I made the top 10%, and I'm average. Hey, I don't have great, I don't have great physical skills. I am okay mentally. My wife will say I'm intellectually challenged, probably, but um, or there's probably a lot of wrestling coaches that say that. But but the point being is, you can you can outwork most people because most people won't want to put. The majority of people know what to do in life. Most people know what to do. And I, this is, I tell kids in the summer. Most people know what to do in life. Everybody knows what to, they have to do to get an A, right? They do. Most kids in high school, they just what? They just choose not to do it. They don't like it because <clears throat> choice is the second greatest gift that God has given us. A, we get to choose everything. 
pay. There's only one thing better, and we get to choose everything. When you think about it, we get to choose who we hang out with. We get to choose whether we work. We get to choose whether we loaf. We get to choose if we're going to do our homework. We're going to get to choose how good we're going to get to choose. We're going to go. Everything is about choice. So it all comes back on you. Hey. And that's, that's the thing that people don't want to hear.